Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to get the electric mace in Bloodborne. A lot of people were requesting me to go ahead and do a tutorial on how to get this mace. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can wait until later in the game and you can get it that way. Or you can get it really early in the game and I'm going to be showing you how to get it early because I'm sure you guys are more interested in that. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to be starting off in the Cathedral Ward. I am not 100% sure how to actually get this enemy to spawn here. I have heard that if you have 10 Insight, it should spawn, but I'm not sure about that. And I also think that it could be that you have to beat the third boss, the Blood Star Beast. But once this enemy kills you, this thing is called a Reaper, it's going to kidnap you. And I'm sure some of you guys have might have been kidnapped by these things. And you're going to wake up in a cell... And this is an area that you're going to be going to that you will go later in the game. It's called the Unseen Village. But it's different when you're kidnapped. You're going to be able to get certain items and the enemies are going to be different as well. But the main point of this is that this is where you will get the mace early on. So it's either after you have 10 insight and that enemy spawns right there. You can let it kill you and you can go get the mace. Or after you beat the third boss, you can come here. And get the mace and the mace is amazing so i really do recommend getting this mace early game because it is a lot of fun to use and it just pones all right now we will be running through this area i'm gonna get a little lost but what we need to do is we need to find a staircase and i'm also going to be running past all the enemies here and i would probably recommend maybe doing that just to get the mace leave go and recover your echoes because you will lose your echoes, so you might want to do this when you have, like, no echoes, okay? Just in case you die while you're in here. But there is a lamp in here, and you can come back anytime you want. Actually, I take that back. You can't come back later in the game once you unlock this area for real. But until that part where you actually will unlock it for real, you can come back, you can kill all the enemies, you can get all the items. And even if you do miss some stuff here, when you do come back for real later in the game... You should be able to get those items still, and there's going to be new items here as well when you come back later. There's also a boss here. Now, if you beat the boss, you will actually get a badge, and the badge will allow you to buy the mace. But why buy the mace when you can get it for free, and you can beat that boss later on. You don't have to beat it right away. So, that's what I say. I say just go get the mace, leave, and then maybe fight the boss later if you want to. But it's totally up to you how you want to go about doing this. But either way, even if you miss this, you could still get the mace just by killing the boss and getting the badge. And there you go, we just got the mace. Now it's time to get the hell out of here. There is a lot of dogs here, and the dogs here are extremely OP. That is one of the reasons why I do not recommend fighting these enemies right this moment. Especially if you just started and you're not very strong. You might just want to run, get the mace, and leave. And maybe come back when you feel more comfortable and you think that you can kill these enemies because there's a lot of reapers here now the one thing about the reapers i will say you can actually get some tier 2 upgrade materials from killing them there is a chance they can drop it sometimes they drop tier 1 but they will always drop something either tier 1 or tier 2 but let's get the hell out of here and now i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the mace for you guys because the mace is badass it just murders but i will show this real quick if you want to get your echoes back just go to where you died Okay, you might think that, oh man, I got killed, I got taken to that prison, maybe what I have to do is I have to kill a reaper in the prison area. That's what I thought at first. No, just leave, go back to where you died, and your echoes should be there, and sometimes that reaper might have it, so you might have to kill the reaper. Alright, so this is the mace, it's plus six right now, and yeah man, it just murks. It really, really murks these enemies. Um, you can buff it yourself just by transforming it, which is one of the coolest things about the mace. And I'm not sure on this, I haven't done it yet, but I think this is a good idea. You might be able to actually put like upgrades on like bolt damage, so it would be lightning damage. Because it automatically comes with lightning damage, and it's going to upgrade as you upgrade it. But there are like runes in the game that will allow you to do more arcane damage, more lightning damage, that kind of stuff. So you might want to put that on there if you can, and it will make this mace even better. I'm not sure if you can buff this mace with, like, fire or lightning. You might be able to. I'm not 100% on that. 
But yeah, this is the Forbidden Woods, and I'm just mowing these enemies down. The one thing about this weapon that I like and I don't like, and that might sound strange, this is an R1 spammer's dream. I mean, the moveset to the mace is extremely simple. It's a lot of R1s. The R2 is pretty cookie cutter, but I don't really use it too much. Normally what you do with this is you just swing it like a falchion from Dark Souls. So yeah, an R1 spammer, this is probably going to be your weapon because it does a lot of damage DPS wise. It's hard to keep up with the mace in PvP, really for anything. So yeah, the mace is amazing. I'm going to sneak up on this bastard right here and I'm going to merc this enemy. Goodbye, you got stabbed in the ass. But yeah, that's the maze for you. It's really, really good. The moveset is simple, but it just does a ridiculous amount of damage. Alright guys, well that's going to pretty much do it for me. I really hope this has helped, and I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video? Be sure to favorite it as well. And you guys should subscribe for future Bloodborne content. I hope everyone has a very nice day, and peace!